Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and welcome back if you're practicing with me again. Today's class is a 60 minute vinyasa flow class. It's part five of the ground and center series of classes. And this is a slow building flow. It includes some standing balances in our flow, standing poses, and then a really nice stretchy cool down. And all you'll need for your practice today is a block or a book uh, and a yoga blanket. It's a really ideal class if you've got a little bit more time to practice and you'd like to feel less restless and more grounded. And if you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. I really hope you enjoy this practice. Let me know how you go. Namaste. And beginning practice laying down on your back, bending your knees, taking your feet to the floor, and then walk your feet mats width wide, letting your knees fall together so the inner knees touch. Rest one hand over your heart, one hand over your belly. And as you settle, lengthen through your spine, invite your chin to nod in toward your chest and smooth the skin, your clothes of your upper back. Gently close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Landing your awareness softly into your body, feeling the support beneath you, welcoming the full weight of your body. And starting to experience your breath, natural and spontaneous, as your body breathes you. And now just take a few longer exhales here to clear some space for yourself mentally and physically. Longer exhales to make room for each new breath as it flows in. And longer exhales to make some space between the week you've had so far and this moment right now. Blowing off the contents of your thoughts. Your week. Just for now. And continue like that. A few more rounds, letting your exhales lead the way. And when it feels natural, begin to regulate your breath in and out into an even, steady rhythm. And take this moment to remind yourself here that your practice is really an energetic practice of awareness. What you can feel and connect to moment to moment will really reflect in your experience. So when we ground ourselves, we naturally feel more embodied, more able to integrate our strength and ease. And it also leads us back home to ourselves, to that place that exists within all of us, a place of implicit knowing, confidence to stand strong, and clearer insight that leads you forward with more clarity. So taking this awareness to your breath and your attention to the felt experience in your body as you move through your practice today. One more cycle of breath. And then just gently slide your eyes open, let the light in toward you. And gather your knees in toward your chest. And softly roll some circles through your low back spine. And keep your right knee hugging in, extend your left leg out long, resting your left heel to your mat. And then act as though you were standing on your left foot, pressing out through your left heel, flexing your toes back toward your face, lengthening through the back of your left calf and your heel. And take one more breath, drawing your right knee a little closer in toward your ribs. And then on your exhale, open your right knee out 
to your right left hand can sit on the top of the left thigh. Just pause and breathe here. Keep standing actively through your left leg, same time. Really try and soften your right buttock so they don't feel hard and you can ease into your inner right thigh. And then guide your right knee back through centre and over to your left. We'll come into a twist. You can rest your left hand to the top of your right knee there. Feel your shape here. And then relax your right arm into a loose cactus shape or you can tee your right arm out. Taking some steady, smooth cycles of breath. Easeful and full. And then come on back to centre. Let your right leg extend out long, along your mat to meet your left leg. And take a round of breath there. Smooth inhale, smooth exhale. And just feel the difference between your legs. And then rebend both your knees, feet to the floor. or we'll switch sides. Left knee hugs in toward your chest. Extend your right leg out long, flexing your toes. Kicking out through your right heel. Finding that extension and light stretch through the back of your heel, kitty Achilles. And then keep that, just cut your left knee out to your left side. Right hand can anchor the top of your right thigh down. So you're pressing the back of your right leg into the mat. Coming back through center and into a twist, left knee over to your right, any amount. Left arm out to the side in a half T. Right hand to the top of your left knee. And just inviting yourself to feel comfortable in your twist, so letting your shoulders relax back. Really listening into the feeling tone of your breath to guide where you land and pause in your twist. And then come on back to centre, exhale. Once more, extend your left leg out long next to your right. Notice and feel the length of your body now. And then turn your toes up toward your ceiling or the sky. Activate the leg muscles. Without tensing, just act like you're standing on both feet there, flexing your toes, pressing out through your heels. And then keep all those actions of the legs. Slowly reach your arms overhead. You get the arms straight, landing on the back of the hands or a little bend in the elbows if that feels best. Just pause here. Take a full body breath in. Grow long. Stretch yourself tall. And then exhale it out through the mouth. Keep the arms overhead. Just close your hands into a fist. And then open your hands and fingers wide. Go between the two. Quicken your pace. Open and close, open and close, bringing some warmth into your hands and your forearms and your wrists. And then hold your hands wide. We'll start to pair our movement with our breath, continuing to warm and open up. On your exhale now, bring your arms forward, catch your right knee in toward your chest, little squeeze in, inhale, arms overhead, re-extend your right leg. On your exhale, arms forward, left knee to chest, inhale, arms overhead, two straight legs. Keep moving, switching sides. And then go one more each side. And then gather both knees in. Rock a little side to side. And then slip your hands behind the back of your knees. Take a few rolls and rocks through your spine. And then as you're ready with a little momentum roll up, 
Then once you're upright, step your hands forward, your legs back, and we'll all meet up in a tabletop position. Take a few moments here to bring some awareness into your hands, spreading through the perimeter of your hands, pressing and feeling all four points. So your index knuckle mound, thumb knuckle, pinky finger, and the center of your wrist or the heel of your hand. And then just take a few spinal waves through cat and cow, arching, rounding your spine. And as you round and curl your spine, really firm into your palms, see if you can lift the spine a little above your shoulder blades. And then as you inhale, feel four points of your hands, press them down, slightly draw them back to help reach your chest forward. Let's continue on there, two more rounds in each direction. And coming back to neutral. Step your hands forward, your feet back, and we'll make our way into a plank pose. Balancing your shoulders now over your wrists. Engaging your leg muscles, add a light tuck to your tailbone and then aim the centre of your heels straight back. Really push the floor away, letting the palms and your toes take the weight of your body. Breathe another breath in. Exhale downward facing dog with a deep bend in your knees. So we'll go through between the two twice more. So each new shape, refocusing your effort into your hands as the weight shifts and, the, and it moves. So we come forward to plank pose, inhale, downward facing dog on your exhale. Awareness into your hands, forward to plank pose, hands solidly anchored, downward facing dog, exhale, and just notice here if your index finger or thumb have lifted, just reground them. Pinky toe, pinky mound, and the heel of your palm grounded. Inhaling now, looking forward, we'll take the heat out of the hands. At the end of your exhale, bend your knees and travel lightly to the top of your mat. Hang in a standing forward fold, separate your feet a little wider than your hips so you feel really solid and balanced. Hold opposite elbow tips and fold over your bent knees. Then gently rolling forward and back from your heels to your toes, just gradually finding what feels like your centre balance. Then actively press down through all four points of each foot. Big toe, little toe, the outer and inner edge of your heel. Then deepen the bend in your knees, dangle your arms to the floor, coming into ragdoll. And then slowly roll up to stand as you come upright. Circle your arms overhead, press your palms and lower your hands to prayer at your heart centre, just standing in Tadasana mountain pose. From the ground up now, rock your weight into your toes back into your heels and finding that natural place of centre to rest your weight. We'll move through three rounds, Suri Namaskar A. Breathe your arms overhead. Exhale forward fold, Uttanasana. Breathe in, lengthen your spine forward. Feel your feet and then exhale, step to plank pose. Pause. Greet your shape, integrating the qualities of mountain pose. And then either knees or no knees, shift forward and lower to your belly. On your inhale, cobra pose, ease into a back bend, hands flush, fingers spree. And then exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath.
the end of your exhale, travel lightly to the top of your mat. Feel your feet into the mat, lift up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, soften your knees, fold and release. Come to stand, reach tall, hands to pray. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, dive your arms wide and fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, plank and pause for a breath. On your exhale, flow to your belly. Low cobra, hands drive down, they gently pull back to bring your chest forward. And downward facing dog. Make contact with your breath. Feel the texture of your mat under your hands, under your feet. Breathing in, gaze forward. Exhale, step up, top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. No rush. Come to stand with the wave of your in-breath. Lower your hands to the centre of your chest. Final round, inhale, circle your arms over here. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Step to plank pose. Take a breath in your plank. And then lower to your belly. Cobra on your inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Full awareness in your body. And to all the touch points of your body with the floor beneath you. And the more you push down into your foundation, the lighter the pose will feel. Because that exact amount of energy you put into it. Is coming back up so that grounding and rebounding happens naturally. Inhale here, gazing forward, light bend in your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Open your chest forward and fold with your exhale. Root down to rise, come to stand and pause, lower your hands. Tadasana. I'm grabbing your block or your book now for our next sequence. And we begin here standing on the block with just our right foot. Then rest your hands to your hips so you can feel the angle of your pelvis. And invite your left foot to hang loose toward the mat. It's okay if your toes meet the mat as you let your left Leg hang there. Notice how your right hip naturally bumps out to your right. See if you can hug your right hip in and rebalance your pelvis so your left foot naturally lifts in line with your right foot, flexing your toes. So we'll do that a few more times. Let your right hip swing out, left leg lower. Then hug your right hip in, lift and level your left foot with your right. Just continue on rocking your pelvis. And then step down, release, we'll switch sides. Just finding your balance on the block with your left foot now. And then a few times, let your right foot sag toward the floor, left hip swing open. And then try and close the door on your left hip and level your feet. So keep going, just feeling the strength and stability offered by your left hip when you hug in to find balance. And this is the key to all the asymmetrical poses like tree. The more you can level your pelvis and stabilize your standing leg, balance comes a little bit more easily. So we'll just step off the prop now. We'll take it off to the top right corner of your space if you do have that block. And then we're going to bring this awareness into your practice now as we flow. Stepping your toes together at the top of your mat, 
Next inhale, come into chair pose, bend your knees and sit back. Draw your shins and your thighs back so you can change the angle of your pelvis, lengthening your tailbone down. On your exhale, balance on your right foot, stand and gather your left knee in toward your chest, just as we did on our backs. Then release, come back to chair pose, bend your knees, arms lift and switch. Balance on your left foot, right knee to chest. Hug your left hip in to stabilise. Go once more chair on your inhale and then exhale left knee to chest and hold. Hug your right hip in and then just like we did on our backs, anchor and steady into your right foot, begin to open your left knee out to the left. And making your way into tree pose, setting your left foot now anywhere on the inseam of your right leg. A little lower for a bit more balance, it's a lower centre of gravity or left foot to your inner upper right thigh if you're feeling steady. So keep hugging your outer right hip in, balancing your pelvis, finding centre. On your inhale now, point your left knee forward, transition into a runner's lunge, fingertips to the floor, step your left foot way back, Take a breath in your lunge, find your feet and then exhale, twist. Land your left palm flush, revolve to your right, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling. Turn your belly, ribs, chest to your right. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release, hands to your mat, coming into low lunge. Soften your left knee to the floor, keep your left toes tucked. On an inhale, reach your arms by your ears. Draw up through the sides of your waist, firm down through your base. Take another breath in. Exhale, arrowhead, lean your torso forward, sweep the arms back, raise your left knee. And as you start to load your right leg there, send your awareness down into the sole of your right foot. Plug down, big toe, pinky toe, inner and outer edges of your heel. Transitioning into star pose now, spin your left heel down, rise up, take the heat out of your right leg, arms reach wide, two straight legs and then on your exhale side lunge to your left, bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, hands to prayer. As you linger just keep a smooth quality to your breath, ushering your awareness to that felt experience of release and effort as we alternate between the legs. On your inhale, star pose, stand, reach wide. Exhale, warrior two, to your right, pivoting your feet. Turn your right toes forward, firm down through your outer heels. So just feel that downward pressure into your feet, rebounding an upward lift into your spine. Take another breath in. Stay for your exhale, lunge a little deeper. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. Left arm reaching forward or straight up, firming down into your left heel. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release, fingertips to the floor, transition into standing splits, float your left leg up toward the ceiling. Just pause and hold there, getting a little lighter on the fingertips. So you double down into all four points of your right foot for balance. Take a breath in. Exhale and step up, top of the mat. Lengthen your spine forward. Fold with your exhale, feet together, chest to thighs. Inhale, rise, come to stand. And release, Tadasana, hands to prayer. And we'll keep flowing. Next inhale, chair pose. Motion your hips down and back, raise your arms. And on an exhale, balance on your left foot. Stand, bring your right knee to chest. Return to chair on your inhale. 
switch, balance on your right foot, left knee to chest, right hip hugs in. Go once more, chair on your inhale, exhale right knee to chest and hold, close the door on your left hip, firming your left buttocks and slowly transition into tree pose, guiding your knee out to the side, rest your right foot on the inseam of your leg. Reset if you need to, just finding your balance and connecting to all four points of your left foot. On your inhale, point your right knee forward and step back into runner's lunge. Fingertips to frame your left foot. Take a breath in your lunge. Exhale and twist, right hand to the floor, revolve to your left, left hand up toward the sky. Take one more breath in and release, coming into low lunge, right knee softly down to the floor, keep the right toes tucked, inhale, arms reach up by your ears. And then on an exhale, arrow here, torso forward, arms fly back, right knee lifts. Just pause for a few breaths, grounding your awareness in the here and the now. Just follow the steady stream of your breath. Transitioning into star pose, spin your right heel down, rise up, arms up, two straight legs. And then exhale, side lunge to your right, right knee bends, straighten your left leg. Hands to pray. Breathing smooth. The inhale, star pose, standing tall. Exhale, warrior two, to your left. Left toes to 12 o'clock. One more full cycle of breath. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. On your exhale, extended side angle, Pashva Konasan, right arm overhead. As you reach away, shore up your right heel. One more breath in. Exhale, release, standing splits. Launch your right leg up into the air. And then exhale, step up, top of the mat. Open and fold with your breath. Rise up, stand tall, arms overhead. And release, hands to pre. Adding on to our flow, as you're ready, inhale, Utkatasan chair pose. Stay for your exhale, heavy your heels. Inhale, press your palms overhead. And then lower your hands to your heart, preparing to twist. Take another breath in. Prayer twist to your right. Place your elbow to the outside of your left knee. And just pause and breathe here. Pressing all four points of your right palm into your left palm to widen your chest. And then explore very subtly, scissoring your right hand away from you, left hand toward you and that should create a little bit more rotation into the ribs and the chest. Take one more full cycle of breath and on your inhale now rise come to stand single leg mountain balancing on your right foot lift your left knee to your chest and then just for a B twist open to your left right hand to your left knee reach your left arm back in space revolving Opposite way, just as we did in our backs. On your inhale, come back to centre, arms overhead, and then we'll flow, movement to breath. Stepping back, runner's lunge. Take a breath on your fingertips, feed your chest forward. Exhale and twist to your right, left hand to the floor, right arm reaches up. Inhale here. Exhale, low lunge, release, tap the left knee to the floor, reach the arms by your ears, 
Arrowhead on an exhale, arms back, torso forward. Inhale, five point star, standing tall. Exhale, side lunge to your left. Bend the left knee, right leg straight. Inhale, star pose. Warrior two to your right. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Stay for your exhale. Straighten your right leg. Take another breath. Reach further back. Keep all that length as you transition into triangle pose. So firm your legs. Reach forward and down. Landing here for a few steady breaths. Feeling your feet into the mat. And pushing down where you touch down. So you have that sense of lightness and ease through rebounding energy. Then take your left hand either to your left hip or behind you for a half bind, left fingertips to the inner upper right thigh. Keeping the chest open, carefully moving into half moon, look down, Ardha Chandrasana, right fingertips to the floor or a block there, float the left leg up. Turning yourself open to your left, just as we practiced on our backs and with our block, gently close the door on your right hip, firming your right buttocks in to stabilize. Option to reach your left arm up, expanding from your center to the edge of your limbs, nothing soggy here. One more breath and we're stepping up, top of the mat, soft knees as you arrive, open halfway. Exhale and fold over your legs. Come all the way to stand, sweep up, two straight legs. Pause, hands to prayer, centre of your chest. Second side, inhale, chair pose, sit low. Another in-breath, touch your palms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe in. And prayer twist to your left. Settling in, take a few calm breaths in your twist. Left palm pressing into your right palm. And then energetically scissoring your left hand away from you. Right palm toward you to expand your chest. Take one more full cycle of breath. And then slowly now, inhale, come to single leg mountain, balance on your right foot, left knee, lift your right knee in toward your chest and then twist open to your right, left hand to your right knee, reach your right arm back, revolve, just here for a beat. Inhale, come back to centre, arms overhead and then through our flow, hands to the floor, step your right foot way back, runner's lunge. Take a breath, curl your chest forward and up. Exhale and twist to your left, right hand to the floor, left arm reaches up. Inhale here. Exhale, low lunge. Right knee to the floor, arms rise on your inhale. Arrowhead on your exhale, torso forward, arms back, back knee lifts. Inhale, flow up, star pose. Exhale, side lunge to your right. Breathe in, star pose, expand. Exhale, warrior two to your left. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Stay for your exhale, straighten your left leg. Take another breath in, reach further back. And then exhale, triangle, trikonasana. Bump your hips to the right. Reach your left arm forward and down, right hand to the sky. And just to avoid locking your left knee out there, press your left shin into your left hand, anchoring your feet with your awareness. Right hand to either your right hip or take a half bind there, opening, approaching your right shoulder back in space. Then gaze down, transition into your half moon, left fingertips to the floor or a block. Float the right leg up. 
Engage your right leg, flex your toes. And then option to reach your right hand up toward the ceiling, perhaps looking up. One more breath. Stepping up softly to the top of the space. Open and fold with your breath. Rise, come to stand, grow long. Lower your hands to prayer. Take a moment to pause. We have our final standing sequence now. We're adding on inhale, chair pose, sit low. And then staying low, pop up onto the balls of your left toes. So coming into figure four, pigeon stretch, keeping the shelf of your right thigh. Lift and place your left ankle to the top of your right thigh. You can use your hands there if you need to. Then curl your left toes back toward your shin. And once you're situated, find a comfortable open shape in your torso. Hands can be a prayer. Arms can reach by your ears for something a little bit more challenging. Steady gaze. And then very subtly check in with your right hip hugging in. Bevel your pelvis. Next inhale, we're going to stand single leg mountain, left knee to chest, balancing on your right foot. And then we're going to move through warrior three for a few breaths. Hands to prayer or arms reaching forward for more challenge. Slowly transitioning into a high lunge, stepping your left foot back. Arms reach up by your ears. Once you have your balance, see if you can balance your left heel up over your toes, engaging your quads, your glutes. Take a deep breath in, firm your feet. And then exhale, arrowhead, arms fly back, crown of your head forward. Inhale, five point star, open wide, ground your heels. And then pause for a full Prasarita Padottanasana. Swim your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers and then angle your heels out, toes in. Curl your heart high on your in-breath. And then fold between your wide legs on your out-breath. Taking care to micro-bend the knees if that helps to tip your pelvis forward. Taking three slow, calm breaths. On your inhale, release your fingertips to the floor, lift up to a flat back. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat, pivot all ten toes forward and step up. Open up halfway on your inhale. Fold on your exhale. Rise all the way to stand on the wave of your breath. Then pause, hands to your heart. Final side, inhale, chair pose. Stay for your exhale, sink your hips down. Stay low, pop up onto the balls of your right toes. Then balance on your left foot. Make your way into standing pigeon, taking your right ankle to the top of your left thigh, flexing your toes, trying to ground through all four points of your left foot, closing the door on your left hip. Chest open and bright, keep the lungs available. Next inhale, balance, single leg mountain, standing upright, bring your right knee to your chest. And then slow transition, warrior three. Hands can move to your heart center or reaching forward. Lock your body from your heel to your head. So when you raise the right leg, your pelvis, your spine move together.
Transitioning into a high lunge, softly step back. Reach the arms, bring yourself upright. Take a breath, firm your feet. And then arrowhead, torso forward, arms back. Inhale, star pose, two straight legs open wide, slowing down, temple pose, turn your heels in, toes out, and then just rest your hands to the top of your knees. Pause for a few breaths, boogie your feet here so you feel really solid through your feet, balanced, and then once you have that, Press your hands down into your thighs, shrug your shoulders up toward your ears and then just ease your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. You can look out over your left shoulder. Nice stretch for the mid and upper back there. And then change sides. Pause for a breath or two. And then go side to side, breath to movement. And then coming back to centre. Rest your fingertips to the floor here, walk around to your left foot. This time we're going to step back to downward facing dog. Taking three slow, calm breaths here to recenter, recalibrate. And just notice how downward dog feels here toward the end of class. And then separate your feet nice and wide here at the back of your mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. And we'll make our way into Malasana Yogi Squat. Sitting down on the back of your calves as an alternative for sensitive knees or ankles. Just resting forward into a forward fold or a half squat here. Elbows to your knees. And just pausing here for a few calm breaths. Welcome to stay here or if you'd like to explore Kakasana, Flying Frog Pose, Following along now, just taking a moment to refocus your awareness into your hands and thinking about pushing down through all four points of the hand. The more you can push down into your hands, the legs will rebound and float up more naturally. So that's the mentality you want to take into your arm balances, not lifting the feet so much but pushing the hands down so you let the palms take your weight. So keeping your feet wide here as opposed to together like we do in Bakasana, feet are wide, little lower centre of gravity for this variation, hands to the floor, spreading your fingers, take your eyes forward, then just start to drop your weight into your hands and same time takes a bit of strength, pushing down and see what happens with the feet, maybe floating one or both feet off the floor, keep the eyes forward. And whenever you're ready, if you're not already there, release. We'll take the heat out of our wrists now. Moving into gorilla arms, go ahead, parallel your feet. And slide, lift your hips and slide the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet now. Bend your knees enough so you can feel the length of your low back without pulling on it. And then take a breath, take a quarter lift. Exhale and fold, dropping your toes toward your wrist creases, same time lifting your hands against the resistance of your feet to feel that stretch through the back of your wrists. And then stepping off your hands. Walk your hands forward and make your way into downward facing dog. We're going to cool down now coming into some uh, slower hip stretches. We'll start with a uh, half pigeon on our right side. You're sliding your right knee to the back of your right hand, back of your right wrist 
and then your right ankle toward your left hip, left leg out long. So accommodating any sensitivity in your knee if you need to by coming onto your back for a figure four stretch is an alternative. And we'll start by lifting up onto the fingertips first. Take a breath or two in this more active shape. Torso a little bit more upright, a little bit of a back bend. And then as you're ready, relax and release forward into Sleeping Pigeon. And letting this shape land your breath into a slower cadence, a softer body. It's loosening your jaw now, relaxing your shoulders and your belly. And then gently ease your way back up and slowly step back to downward facing dog. You might like to pedal and stretch there, move and sway. Let the back of your right knee breathe. And when you're ready, switch will go left side, left knee to the back of your left hand. And then on your fingertips there, do your best to angle your pelvis square so your hip points are even to the top edge of the mat. So you can dial your heel in toward your pelvis any amount if you need to accommodate your hips. Standing onto the fingertips for a few breaths, feeling that gentle curve of your spine. And then folding forward with ease as you're ready. And then slowly walking your hands back in. This time, sitting down on your left buttock, sweep your right leg forward and over your left leg, transitioning into cow face pose, Gomukhasana. And if this feels really awkward for your legs, know that you can extend your left leg out straight in front of you and just have your right leg over the top. And wherever you're at, nudge your thighs together into a little stack. And then feel the heaviness of gravity just grounding your sit bones even, steady into the floor. Lift the chest, open your arms wide, and then take an eagle wrap. Left arm over, right arm under. You can hold opposite shoulders or press your palms to touch. On your inhale, lift your elbows. Exhale, just round your spine, let your elbows Move forward toward your knees, chin to chest, dome your spine. And then easing your way back up, unravel and switch the stack of your legs. And here, the, that option is to have your right leg out straight if that feels best. Take a moment to nestle your sitting bones down evenly into the support beneath you. And then open your arms wide. And then the eagle arms, right arm over, left arm under. Project your forearms forward, widen the space of your upper back. And then exhale, forward fold any amount toward your knees. 
starting to lengthen your exhale so you stay in that place of surrender, relaxing into your outer hips. And gently rise back up, unravel your legs, grab any additional layers you may wish to have along with you, and grab your block or blanket, and we'll come to really climb down onto our backs. We're going to move into a supported bridge pose, bending your knees, take your feet to the floor about hips width apart there, and then slipping either your folded blanket or block under your buttocks and for even more comfort a blanket over a block to cushion and support yourself so you just know we're over effort here it's just a gentle drape to your spine in your bridge allowing you to open the front of your body and encouraging you to rest the weight of your body into a support very restorative here at the end of your practice. Just take about three to five slow calming breaths. And then reach down, slide your prop out from under you and lower down onto your back. Just pause when you arrive, letting your spine settle into its natural curve. And then transitioning into an easeful recline twist. Tee out your arms and either cross your right leg over your leg or simply stack your knees for a gentler variation. Rest your knees over to your left. And then just shift your buttocks a bit back to your right. So you keep your spine in one straight line, your hip in line with your shoulder. And if you haven't already, turn your gaze to the right, just completing the twist through your spine, chin toward your right shoulder. And then moving back through centre, changing sides, wrap or stack your legs for your twist. Knees over to your right, eyes to the left and just finding comfort and an accommodating shape in your twist so your breath can rise and fall free and easy. Last few breath here. And release. Back onto your back, coming into our final posture. Happy baby pose. Split your knees wide, catch a hold of outer edges of your feet or the back of your knees and draw your knees down in the direction of your armpits. Resting releasing through the length of your spine now. One more breath in together. One more breath out. Releasing. We're going to take the next few minutes to rest in Shavasana. Make yourself comfortable. Open your palms up toward the ceiling, let your feet fall wide. Wriggle out any restlessness from your body. And just invite yourself to be still now. And for your effort to soften so your mind and body can let go and rest.
And if there are any places in your body or in your mind or your heart where you may still feel restless, just hold these places in your awareness with your patience. Usher your breath there. And just use your exhalations to soften, release. Allow yourself to let go. And I'll be back to guide you back in just a few minutes. And very gently, softly, drifting your awareness back. Breathe a bright breath through your whole body. Begin to make some movements, wriggling, waking your toes, your fingers. Bending your knees, taking your feet to the floor. And then as you're ready, rolling out to your right side, just pause there and notice how you feel. The end of your practice. And then slowly ease your way back up to sit. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope. Through this practice, you feel more grounded, less restless and at peace. Namaste.